In this module, we will talk about the forecasting portion in Excel. So a lot of people are not aware that we can do any kind of forecasting in Excel also. I mean, automatic forecasting, right? There are a lot of models and methods available outside for the forecasting part or, you know, uh, finding out the growth, basically predicting the future. But here there is one feature which a lot of people uh, try to find out in charts area but it's not here. So basically where you need to go, right? That is question number one. Question number two, what is the data we have in hand right now for which we want to do the forecasting here? So this is the data we have, like we have attrition rate for the five years and we want to predict it for the coming years. So how to do it? In the data tab, we have this option called forecast sheet, right? So select the data and click on forecast sheet and click on create whenever you want to create this chart. But before that, you can mention the number of years for which you want to forecast the attrition rate. So automatically it has taken like uh, two years, right? So basically you can change the date from here and mention for how many years you want to forecast. I clicked on create and it has created the forecasting chart automatically. So this is the table it has created this were the these were the attrition rate i have taken and these are the attrition rates for the coming two years 15.14 percent and 14.2 percent uh there are other sections called lower confidence bound and other upper confidence bound what it means is this is the upper range this is a lower range so it means that attrition rate is not going to be down than this and up than this and this is the chart we have so this is very, very interesting and easy and we can predict the future. So whenever you are clicking here, you are getting the tooltip where it is mentioning the same rate being calculated here and shown in the table. So this is called forecasting and at the back end, it is doing nothing but the trend analysis. So this is the method which has been applied.